And 27 Hattiesburg firefighters traveled to Yazoo City Saturday to help with the rescue mission. Seven on your side's Kevin Wheeler spoke with some of those firefighters about the devastation they saw. There are so many stories to tell from Saturday's deadly tornadoes that struck parts of Mississippi. Stories of tragedy, stories of those finding loved ones, and stories of the recovery efforts. Trees everywhere, uh, power lines down everywhere, uh, a lot of uh, demolished homes. Hattiesburg firefighter Brian Duncan was one of 27 people with the fire department who traveled to Yazoo City after the tornado ripped through that town. We came over here and it was it, it was just there. It was, it, we just kind of ran up on it all of a sudden and it kind of uh, shocked us actually. It's, it's tough, you know, you had to do your searches and, and walk a lot and checking on people and making sure that, uh, you know, they had, they had ways to get out or if they needed medical attention or such as that. Their mission was focused on searching and making sure that everyone was okay. I wish there would have been more that we could do, you know, but uh, everybody gets assigned certain missions and, and things on those deals. Captain Kirk Wigley says the scene was sad to see. He says they were all glad to step in and help. It was kind of depressing at times because you're seeing people on their worst day, you know, but it is, uh, it is a very rewarding job because you are, you know, able to help people. It makes you feel good to be a part of a team that uh, is knowledgeable, knows what they're doing, knows how to get the job done, and gets it done in a timely fashion. The tornado left a long path to destruction, and the road to recovery is a long one. Rescue workers and volunteers are working around the clock to bring Yazoo City back to life. That it's, uh, it's just something that you don't want to happen, you know, but it does, and, and, and that's one reason that we do what we do here. In Hattiesburg, Kevin Wheeler, 4-7, on your side. And the fire department is sending four more firefighters back to Yazoo City. They're expected to stay there for about 72 hours.